Hello. Welcome to my channel. I must give praises to the Most High, as I always do. Today's topic is about missing Native women. I'm just reaching out to them. I feel my condolence should go out to their families. Uh, this is for all the missing Native Indian women in Canada and other parts of um, uh, 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 countries in America that uh, people are missing, especially in indigenous people that people don't really care about because my mother had the same problem when she was alive. So this goes out to all missing natives that don't make big news because who they are or what we are. Nobody seems to care. They only care about other people in other countries. That's bad too, but I feel the natives is not being looked upon right. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very upset. I, I, I don't like stuff like that, you know, and I feel bad for them because people do things to me right here in Connecticut and, and they get away with things. So I can only give the, my praise to the most high to deal with people like that and people that take people's family from them. They're going to get severely dealt with. They may hide from the law, but you can't hide forever. That's my topic today. My topic is first is going to be on indigenous people that get looked, not, don't get looked at right. And, um, but when something happens to somebody else, it may CNN, it may ABC News, it may uh, Crime Watch, all, all that stuff. And, and, they don't care and the day is april the 16th a.m and i want to give a shout out to my son today is his birthday and getting back to what i was saying um the topic gonna be about missing indigenous indian women that united states and other countries forgot forget about because they don't care it's not important to them and stuff and I even got a GoFund, a GoFund raised me for other natives in New Mexico that need stoves. And I, I don't know, you know, if people respond, but if something happens to somebody else, we, we give money to other countries. Why is that? And you won't help the people here. See, these are the Indians. I don't know if you can see that. That's in Mexico. Um, they need stoves. See them standing in front of the stove? You just stove that burn wood. And every year, Every year, a native pass away out there too, because they don't have stoves and, and they freeze the death and never make the news. But other things do make the news. And my other topic is about fake Christian people. Uh, it's going to be fake Christian people second and, and indigenous people first that don't that don't even get looked upon as people. I, I don't know what people problem is. You know, like I have problem with other people and I don't understand this. You know, um just like today I was talking about natives to a church in Connecticut, like they, they get food in front of City Hall. As soon as I brought up about natives, the lady put, uh, walked out of my face and uh she said we're not here to discuss Indians. We we here to discuss people in Ukraine. So I know that's bad too. But like she was saying, the hell with with Indians here, because even though she's a, a so called white American, she's looking out for them because she's European descent. That's why in the church. Then then I had a problem with an African American guy. I don't know what was his problem. I was talking to a lady she, and the one that showed compassion for me was an Asian lady, uh, and she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I wouldn't try to make nobody feel sympathy for, for us, but they should feel sympathy for us and stuff like that. So I said to the lady, I said, um, I have a YouTube channel, and I'm trying to raise money for the natives in New Mexico. Um, the Pueblo, it's a village they call Pueblo Apache. Uh, that's why they said Pueblo Apache. It was really a village called Pueblo Pueblo. Apaches and Navajos lived there. So when I was mentioned about the Indians need stole, the African-American guy says, won't they burn more wood? That's a terrible thing to say. 
I said, what do you mean Burma wood? Where they live in is like a desert. They don't have trees out there, so that's why they ask for donation. The government of New Mexico don't care. So why would you say that if I had said something about his ancestors, he wouldn't have liked it. But I'm not that harsh to say something like that, so I won't say it. But some people will. And and these churches, they phony most of them. Um God the creator is for everybody, not for one individual person that that, that they feel they should get help. As soon as I mentioned about natives, the church like try to shut me down. Nobody wins they say a prayer for everybody. That's why when they gave me that Ukrainian flag, I'm not being disrespectful. It's you know, not that I didn't care. I'm just saying, um, why are you going to give somebody a flag? You don't even know to ask the person his agenda, what he thinks. And I, I mean, they should help people in this country, especially the indigenous Indians of the of the of the land and stuff like that. Like a guy asked me, "What indigenous mean? Indigenous mean the original people of the land." And I ain't let nobody else try to say, you know, oh, we was here before the natives. Uh, uh, that's not true. My mother said her people been here for over 10,000 years. And um, people should re respect animals too. Because animals was created for people. Some people don't. Indians respect everything about animals. Because animals give them food. They say a prayer for everything they do. But other people just use it for gain. And, and I'm just talking about other things. That, and uh, I've been disrespected. Maybe because I'm an indigenous person myself, uh, I got assaulted by some. They just happened to be a young Puerto Rican children hit me in the face with a brick at um at Walmart. I was parking my car to get out, and a brick just came and hit me right in the face, and I didn't think nothing of it. Then two weeks later, I went to the emergency, and the, the doctor, you got in a concussion. So when I went inside of Walmart to tell the officer. And he was so more interested in me by my car being double parked. And I kept telling him that he is right there. And even the people in the park lot saw it. But when they hit me with the brick, it's like a reflex, like when the doctor hit you on your knee with that hammer. My foot reacted and it stepped on the, I stepped on the gas pedal real hard and I almost ran over this lady and her daughter. But she knew it wasn't my fault. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, those teenagers did that. She said, I understand. So when I went in and got the cop, he got mad at me because I came in and got him. And he said, oh, this is how you would park. He was more concerned about my car being double parked and detaining them. I was assaulted with a brick, and, and he did nothing. And he went right back inside of Walmart. All he would like to do, that's why he like he been in that post for five years. Um, he shouldn't be at that post. I tried to talk to him a couple of times. Every time I tried to talk to him about something, I'm busy. Uh, but when other people stopped to talk to him, he listened to what they say. Plus, he liked working there because he liked to look at girls' backsides. And that's not cool. That's not his job. He even even let the girls hug him. Maybe laying all his head on his chest. But it's all right. I'm not going to even do nothing about it. Because, like, I felt like my cousin got assaulted in New York by an officer. I'm, I like cops, good cops. But all the people, they don't like no cops. But they to them, all them bad. And, like, he's, like, the only one that's right in the, in, in the, in the, in the universe. He ain't right either. Because the Lord, they believe in, like, they respect this American flag so highly. And this American flag killed a lot of your ancestors. So when you say we respect the law and uh, like people died to say people died for this flag, what people are you talking about? They weren't your people. These was all European independent day. That was for them. That wasn't for you. That's why some people understand celebrate these holidays. But I'm more in concern not that I hate people. I'm more concerned about indigenous people. When, when, when I saw that family, the Fontaine family, uh, they were from Canada. The girls be missing all the time. And they get slow response from uh, law enforcement because they don't care. And uh, and I do so believe the officer said that to the lady. He, she said that uh, he said maybe she's out drinking. Why would you say that? you think all Indians drink? And they respond for that because they the one bought liquor to to these reservations to keep the Indian drunk so he can take his land. If you want to get technical about it, but that's not it's not cool. God would take care of all this. I'm, I'm just sending out my condolence to all indigenous people. I want some indigenous people to respond back to me because 
when I get my money, uh, a lot of money, I'm going to uh, help indigenous people. I'm going I'm to get raise money for them, even if I had to raise it myself to buy some stove and stuff like that. And all these people that got money, I'm not mentioning no name, but a lot of celebrities got all this money always showing what they got on television, the, the, their houses and cars. Well, if I was a millionaire like that, some people just say things and they don't do what they say. I would try to help everybody, especially natives. I, I, that's why I'm trying to be the mouthpiece for natives, no matter where they from. Even in, in, in Indians in the Caribbean, they get mistreated in South America, all in places. Uh, they do bad. Some natives have been wiped out for no reason because they wanted the land and stuff like that. And so now y'all snatching people's family members reservation and uh, you may do bad things but the creator see everything you do that's why a crook think he's in the clear sometimes he he can elude the cops sometimes for 20 years and all of a sudden he got caught I said that's the creator's time your time is up your fun and lolly down is is done and if people do things like that uh it's not right I have so much stuff done to me I I can't even tell you to take hours for me to talk about it that's why I make my videos short. And uh, like uh, the church people, when I when, I, when she said anybody need a prayer, um, she didn't want to hear nothing about no Indians. As soon as I mentioned about Indians, she didn't want to hear. They walked away. And that's sad when people do that. And like people are bothering me. You figure it would be a European descent person. It'd be other people of color. That bothered me. I've been harassed by Africans, like I said, for Jamaicans. Not, I'm not saying all of them. Like I have uh, a foreign friend. These just individuals that's stupid. It's like you have a stupid American, like the African American guy when he said that about, won't they get some wood, burn more wood, no chop more wood? How the hell are they gonna chop more wood when they live in a desert and no trees hardly grow in no desert? That's why he sounded stupid. But um. I don't, I don't even waste my time with that. I, I just let people talk. And I, I, I have been disrespected by Mexicans. A Mexican guard called me a dumb, dumb A Indian. He put his hand on his gun. Nothing, nothing was done about it. But I ain't even trying to sue nobody or mess with stuff like that because the creator would take care of that. Like the audit people, they like a, a harassing cop. Even if the cop is good, they harass everybody. And they keep. Them is not harassment. If you go in a place, then they always throw this up. There's cameras all in the building. Yeah, the cameras are there. They don't feel threatened by the camera because it's not in their face. And then it's it, fair, it's fair. Even though y'all don't have to answer questions, y'all not courteous or kind or nothing. I don't answer questions, but and, and y'all make friends the cop that supposed to be protecting. I know some cops is, is bad. You got good cops. Oh, you wearing a costume and getting your little clown car, all that stuff. They keep saying, I ain't never, I don't need no cop. I guarantee you, if somebody was whooping their ass, and if they see a police car, they'd be chasing that cop down unless he got too much pride to take the ass whooping and let the cop ride on by. But all cops are not bad. I have law enforcement in my family. And when, 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 like when he said, when they said that the fire department is the real heroes, uh, a lot of cops had got killed. And they was, I guess they don't consider them heroes. Just like I had the pastor said today, uh, if you're 93, live to be 93, you are, it's a curse. And um, if you live to be 100, something he said about a blessing. So I got offended. So my mother died at 93, almost a week for her birthday. So he trying to say my mother was a curse. Look at the stuff that come out of people's mouth. And a lot of church people, they claim to be so righteous. They can read that uh I'm not righteous. Ain't nobody righteous than God or Jesus. And I, I don't know why they, they 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 think they can rule over everybody. A lot of them are the people. I never seen people like them before. Some of them is very nasty, but they hide behind that little first and third amendment, and and that wasn't really meant for y'all either. Not for me or no in the or no black person. That was meant for them. But all the people back there, when they was uh, trying to, when the British fleet was trying to bomb that place where they was at, and, and the flag was still standing, those people wasn't black. They wasn't Indian. Both sides was was European descent person. So they was fighting for their own law. It's a law for you, and it's a you may think the law is for you. It's not for you. 
even I seen pictures of with African Americans. They said they got time for black people to serve and time for white people. The the the, the laws is different because it was made up. Everything like I said for everything in America is illegal, but the native, and he gets no respect no matter where he's from. And I'm just letting people know I don't like it, and my heart goes out again to the Indian indigenous ladies being taken uh, from their homes and, and, and have their parents worry like that is not right. People don't care. They probably say, oh, it's an Indian. Like in New York at one time in the 18 and 1600, you can go to the city hall and get a license to kill an Indian. And you shot him. They said, oh, I got a license. It was legal. They really did that. And, uh, uh, my mother told me all this stuff. I learned a lot of stuff from my mother. And when she came from the Midwest to um, the New Jersey, they did not like my mother. My mother's way not like she's the way indigenous, you know, like clothes, let people know who she are, and she was proud of it. And sometimes I wear pain on my face because I'm at war with, with, with certain people, and I'm at war how Indians are treated in this country. And if, if I'm not going to go that way, though, but some natives, like in my family, they put on war paint. That means they want to kill somebody. But I ain't going that route because you got to think about the consequences. Even though you know that God going to take everything, don't try to do what you think you can do because you know who's controlling this country. So I just want to get that off my chest the way they were disrespecting me today when I... All I wanted to do was ask them about, say a prayer for natives, you know, that's uh, that lose loved one. Nobody wanted to say nothing uh, for me. All they were thinking about was uh, Putin and that war and stuff that they got nothing to do with us. I mean, I feel bad for people getting killed. People get killed in America, especially indigenous people. It don't make the news. It make look local channels. That's good, but they don't put it on eyewitness news. And I know they got to hear about it, and sometimes it double get on the news. That's why it's good to have these little local channel news things. If they don't can't cover everything, but when something happens to a foreign person, you hear about it for the next decade. Indian. That's why, like sometimes I said, it's not good. Mm -hmm. That's why it was old saying. Indian says a good day to die, you know, and stuff like that, because people don't care. I mean, really don't care. Then you got these people that tend to be Indians, but they think they're going to get money from the government or something like that. All Indians don't get money from the government. Even a Indian, a city Indian that never grew up on a reservation, he's still an Indian. He can know just as much things if he's taught right as an Indian on a reservation. And that's why I told people Indians never had chiefs. My mother said, and I don't know about other nations, but chiefs come from Europe. They had chiefs and lieutenants. That's where that stuff come from. Indians had shaman and holy man. Like he might see a bunch of Indians in the crowd, a European. He said, we're going to make that one a chief. That's why Geronimo always said, my name is Geronimo. And they said, Chief Geronimo. He said, my name is not chief. He said, I'm not a chief. And... My heart goes out to the uh, to the Indians again, the indigenous woman that's going missing and and turned up murdered and cops making statements like that. And when the family told them that he said maybe she went out drinking, the other officer tried to take her for to my. I don't think that's what the officer said. He said it. She wasn't even there. That's why I don't know why she's making a statement. She's backing him up. He's a cop like she is. They don't care what they say. I heard people told me, you had the bomb of the totem pole. A cop told me that right here in Connecticut. And I said, thank you very much, you know, for letting me know that. But I just had to get that out. Uh, I'm very upset about the natives in Canada and other places. Uh was another family too. I can't remember the name. The Wicker, Wicker family, I think. Uh, they lost family members too. The uh, granddaughter went missing. So bad for them. But it's evil in the world. The unit the, the, in the universe you can hear everything, good or bad. That's why I tell my son, watch what you say. Because demons is around 
here and they can make things happen. Like you say, I was his person who died. It can happen to you. It can backfire. Otherwise, I don't wish nothing on nobody. I let God interact with some of his angels. So that's what I wanted to say. Today was about so-called fake Christians that tend to be so holy and they not. That's why I said they can read that Bible for 40 years and still don't understand what it means. And a person think with, um, he uh, pray every day, you might not still go to heaven. It could be the sinner that goes to heaven and might not even do that much thing. You don't know how God pick his people. But that really upset me when he said that about when a person is 90, lived to be 93, that's a curse. All right, so you have my input on that. And I hope the natives in Canada and other places that had a lost one have a, a, have a better days to come or my my heart goes goes out to your family again. I care. Maybe other people not care, like stupid people that I, I see on television always saying dumb things, you know, and stuff like that. I don't like. And um, that's all I have to say right now. I'm a little upset. Um, I want some natives to reach out to me so I can talk to them too, let them know that you have natives that care too. Uh, my mother had a rock. Nobody cared about her either. But say a prayer for me. You know, I say a prayer for you. It's not like I'm saying you have to say it. I'm just reaching out to you, to 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 your family than other indigenous people. So you have my blessings. Donada Wado. That means take care. Have a blessed day. Until next time. Like my friend is Cheyenne. She taught me some native words from her. It said, Jawish. I mean, thank you. That's all I have to say. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out and love.